hello guys and welcome to the channel so today uh, we are going to look at the studio web feature in uipath so studio web is a web based interface for uipath which is a leading provider for rpa technology it allows uh, users to design develop and deploy automation projects without having to install uipath studio yes you have heard it right without having to install the uipath studio on their local machines so the one of the key benefits that we have seen about UiPath Studio Web it is that it can be accessed from any device with an internet connection, making it convenient for the teams to collaborate on projects remotely. So it means like you know it can uh, allow for easy onboarding of new team members as they can simply log into the platform and start working without having to install any additional software. It, it has some built-in code editor and debugging tools which helps to understand and troubleshoot any issues that may arise during the development process. So like if I have to say uh, one thing about the studio web in overall, uh, I must say that it is a powerful platform that offers you know a range of features and tools to support the design, development and deployment of the automation projects. A little more information uh, can be seen in the article that I've written about the UiPath Studio. So uh, first what we have to do is we have to get into uh, the auto UiPath Automation Cloud. Once we get there we uh, can see the option of Studio in the left hand side panel. We'll click on that. So once we get into uh, the UiPath Studio there will be a, a new page that will be open. So this is how it looks like. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's uh, projects here which are uh, you can start creating a new project by clicking here or if you have already created, you can go here. You have the automations that is present here. So you get to know what exactly you have done and about the connections like there are several connections when you work with the UiPath Studio. So right now we don't have any and you have an import project option. If you already have a project a zip file that you have into your device, you can just click the option of import studio web project and continue with your work. So uh, we will demonstrate here a simple uh, solution, a simple uh, thing that we have. Now if I click on new project, I'll name it as a new automation. I want to uh, keep the start uh, of the automation manually. I'll click on create. When we go inside, we see a different uh, number of options. Uh, we have the undo and redo option. We have the run option. We have run step by step option. And of course, we can publish the automation that we have done. So by taking a set variable activity, we can create a variable. In this we can see uh, the value where we can give uh, the value for the variable that we are assigning and in this section if I click on the plus icon we have use variable and save as variable. If I click on save as variable we get to create the variable let's say number the scope should be global and uh, type should be number. So this is how we have created and we will assign the value as 30 here. Next we will take an if condition to check if that number is greater than the value that we have assigned. Okay. So uh, in the if block if I click on condition uh, a pop up comes uh, in the name of condition builder. Here we will uh, give the variable that we have already created by using use variable which is int numbers and the condition as greater than 25. Let's save it. So uh, in the then block, uh, if we click on the add activity, we can uh, check it by taking log message. So in the log message, uh, I'll give the message number is and the log level as info and again I have to take the log message so what I can do is uh, if I click on these three dots choose the copy option and here 
it already uh, gives you that uh, we can insert the activity that we have copied so just click on insert a slight change that we have to do here is change the message okay so this is how we have done <coughs> I'll click on the run option the status right now you can see is running it will go through every activity and give you the results in the right hand side box so this is how uh, it is done if we click on the run if I click on the run step by step it will go through each step you can stop it at any point continue till the end or by if you want to go step by step just click the next step it will go on in every activity and check until it is succeeded so the status are uh, succeeded that you have been seeing here <clears throat> so this is how uh, an automation is made in the web studio uh, this was a simple and easy automation that I did just to check uh, for the numbers uh, just like that uh, any uh, person who is new or who is experienced so that any person can do any kind of automation here this was a demo to show that uh, this is kind of an easy automation and uh, an ease for developers to do if they choose the web studio part thank you